Chasing You as on, and today we'll be doing uh, the beginner course for Unity beginners. So, first, basically everything you need to know about uh, Unity. Okay, Unity Hub, let's open it up. New. 3D or 2D, I want 3D, and I'm going to name this. I'm just going to name this the course. Of course, just like this, and create. Now I'm just going to wait for this to open up, and it just opened up. Now let's get to business. So first thing you want to know in Unity is um scenes which are basically just levels so um if you can if you get confused by scenes um think of it as levels in a game so uh that that's actually kind of what they are and what they're meant for so next let's also focus on one of the most important things in the game uh your assets because without assets you really only have cubes, uh, like a lot of shapes right here. So the first thing you'll want to know is assets. But you see there's a ton of shapes, but and I said there was a little bit, but there is quite a bit. Um, so you have a cube. You have a sphere. And you also have other ones i'm just going to focus on the cubans so also what you want to know is if you look um okay <laughs> my mouse disappeared for a second okay let's get back to business okay um so this is the mesh render one of the most important things it helps you see something and um, not see. So if you disable the mesh render, as you can see, your cube disappears. You can still see it in the scene, but in your game, it's not even there. But then when you pop it back, it comes right back. So you can let it cast shadows. I don't want it to cast any shadows. So like um, right here, I'm gonna add, actually no need to add. I'm gonna move this down. So yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, the shadows. So as you can see now, there's no shadows. Let's um, let's enable shadows on the sphere. So now on. So as you can see, you might be able to see a shadow right here. See right there. That seems quite normal. So if I put it here, the shadow stands directly on the sphere. Now. Let's turn this off. There. So you can also do some other stuff with this, like a mesh filter. You can change what the shape is itself. So I can make this uh, like this, and naturally the shadows turn different. You have two shadow, two shadows, and shadows only, which means it won't be there. And um, you might still see when you uh, remove it you have um this weird green outline so what this is is uh in this case a sphere collider if i move back to my cube this is a box collider if i enable it um then you'll be able to hit stuff if i disable it you won't be able to hit anything so let's let's uh move on to rigid body to show you what that really looks like so if i move this here and I add a component. So I'm gonna bring this way down here, rigid body. So this is 3D. We want to use gravity. In this case, if we don't use gravity, then this is what it'll be. You you won't really tell anything's changed. But if we do use gravity, I'm not gonna maximize on play, but you'll see as it will just fall right on. To make it, and the reason why some of this part isn't fully there is because of what I just said, the 
the um, box collide. Uh, in this case, sphere collide. So let's go back and let's put this back at a sphere. And this will look normal now. There, just like that. So now for, for the collider, if we disable it entirely, this it'll just fall straight through it. As you can see, it's still falling until somebody will get it. So let's enable that again and it becomes normal. Okay. It follows just like anything. So you can also um, uh, play around with this physics. So if I move this one here, and this is one of the tools, it's called the scale tool. So I can scale this up and move this down. And I can move this right here. And now, as you'll be able to see, it'll roll down. So much, a little bit more complicated. So if I duplicate this, so to duplicate, you just do this, you click this, and then your duplicated object should be there. Oops, I accidentally duplicated the sphere. Let's undo all of this and delete this. So if you want to undo things, CTRL-Z, just like the standard Windows thing. And let's go to the cube right here. Let's duplicate this. Duplicate. Move this down. Let's try this. And I'm going to duplicate this again. Okay, so also, um, now this is how it is. Also, let's focus on the camera angle. So wherever you put this camera, that's the way it'll go. Now we can see everything with our camera angle. And as you can see, it gets a little bit more uh, tough and um, you can, it's a little bit more, what would I call it? Different, right? So it, as you can see, it's, it's barely getting on. Now, if I move this out, it should fall straight in the hole, just like that. So we can make like this. And I'm just going to try something, and I'll be back with you. Also, I wanted to note that another thing you can do is you can select these, all of these, and now I want to duplicate them. And I'm going to move it down. And I'm going to move it right here. So then we can keep on doing this. Duplicate. And this is what I'm trying to do. If you can see it. Now, this actually looks cooler than I thought. Like this. Let's move our camera angle a little bit back so it can see everything. Just like this. And let's move it a little bit to the side. So let's maximize on play to see how this turns out. Down up. Okay, it's it's going normally just as I expected. So this is very predictable if you can enable the one. And I'm going to add one at the end. So now let's show. I'm going to show you what to do with assets. So I'm going to add an object in the queue. And I will see. So since this is 3D, I need to make it go exactly where it is. So now, right here is the cube. And I'll enlarge this. There's also this way of making it so scale. So if you want to change the scale to, let's say, 8, 
then it's automatically done right there for you. This is the way I wanted it. You can also make like this, 10. And I'll undo that. And you can also make uh, this um, 900 something something. And it'll go that far. Yeah, that is quite long for 9,000. So, um, okay, so you can also make things look 2D by clicking this. And yeah, this is a navigation panel type of thing where you can navigate. I will bring this camera a little bit down though. Kind of like this. Um, and now let's get to the asset part of it. It's going to be connecting to the asset store. And let's search for an asset. I think I'm going to search for um, a flag. At the end. So let's go to free assets in class animation based flag, realistic flag, flag. Hmm. Let's keep going. So it looks like I didn't really find anything. So I want to be a little bit more. Um, Sophisticated. I wanna, I wanna do like a race. Like, is that what it's called? Racing flag. Racing flags. Hmm. It looks like the only free racing flags we have are paid. But those don't really look like the type I want. So this is. So if you see just like this. I'm, uh, since I didn't get an asset that I wanted, I'm actually going to try to find something. So, hmm, sorry. And this looks like what we get. So um, if you know how to download, if you want to learn how to download an asset uh, and import it into your project, go to um, my latest other video. Um, you'll figure out how to do it there. And this is called the backup plan. So I op I'll open Blender. Click to the side. And I'm going to create my own flag in here so i'm going to make this look kind of like a stick just like this and this is just a quick way to make my own flag now i'm going to add another cube this time i'm going to make it small i'm going to move it here Launch it this way. And let's make this smaller here. Not that, not like that. Like this. And like this. Also, I want to do one more thing, add those checkers. So let's add a cube. Let's make it super tiny, like this. Let's move it here. Like this, okay. I think this is where I want it. Uh, okay, right there, and 
Okay, so let's move this down. Like here and right here. And let's move this a little bit out. Kind of like that. So now let's duplicate this. Mm. Let's select this. Now duplicate. Duplicate objects. I'm going to set it right here. And I'm going to move it here. Now I'm going to do the same exact thing again and again. So, duplicate. Undo that. Duplicate objects. Select. Move. Duplicate. Move. Duplicate. Oops. Lousy. Duplicate like this. Duplicate. No. Not like that. Duplicate. Move down and move here. Okay, let's keep. I'm going to keep doing this until I'm done. And I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm done with it. So now I'm going to file and I'm going to export. I'm going to export an FBX and I'm going to call this flag. flag. Let's do this export. Okay, now that I have this, I'm going to try to do that again. Books. And I'm going to move this out. Mm, okay, just like this. And I'm going to move this out. Yeah, like this or so. Or some sort. So now I'm going to move this away. And this is my flag, so I'm going to move to all models, and I am going to place this right in. So, the way we do this is just drag and drop, not like that, not like that. Mm. So, I don't think that it will work when we drag and drop. I was just trying to test it out. Save. And I will save this as... I'll just save the blender file. I won't need to name it just yet. So now I'm going to go to this and untitled.blend. So let's move this into prefix. Open. Um, I can close Blender, and I'm gonna open this right. Here. So let me open this. Okay, so now that I've dragged and dropped it, we're good to go. So right here, and you can just drag this and drop this. This looks a little bit weird. But if you go right here, you'll see what what the problem is. So let's delete this. It will ask you, you can't do that. So let's just disable this. Also, we have a light here at the end. Disable that. So let's move this right here. Let's move this like this. And this will move like here. So about here, right? Let's move this forward. And like this. And just above. I'm gonna um, 
Now let's also move on to the next section, materials. So you add a material and then you change its color. So I wanna change, I wanna make this pure white. Mm, white won't work, so let's just see. How does this look like? It won't really change much, so let's, Okay, so now I've created a black material. Okay, so now I've dragged and dropped my material. I also want to um, tell you what it's like. So I'm also gonna add a new material. So let's go here, material. And I want green material. Green type of material, just like this. Now let's, I'm applying this here. And I'm applying this to all of these. So here and here. So I can easily just like apply this to one right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. I think doing this is easier, so this is what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure if I still like the camera angle though, so I want to change this to more like this. And maybe a little bit closer. Just like this. And like that. Yes, that good. So now let's add another material. This is the last material we're going to be adding, and this is red, right, red. So let's try that again, red. So let's add this at the top. Now let's test out what we've done. In my opinion, honestly, looking back to this, it, it, let's test out if blue could be better. I'm not so sure. I just see this finish. So that's just what I wanted. Now let's do, now let's make it blue. So I'm gonna change this color and I'm gonna set it to blue. Let's see what this looks like. Mm. This is just my opinion. I think red is better for this, for red and green. So let's set this to red and there. So now that we've covered pretty much everything, I'm still gonna see what else we can cover. Okay, so let's cover our second thing, which is, the difference between these so this is these are materials which is all of the materials we have these are the this is the one models that we have and prefabs which i don't have any at the moment are um our prefabs are more like things that um already come with colors that's what i would consider them pre-generated objects i think so um other than that um i'm just gonna wait for this to finish so please like subscribe uh and other than that tell me if you want to know anything else pretty much yeah bye see you later